Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In our previous video, we have discussed about the Shadow DOM in detail. We talked about the open and the closed Shadow DOM and also we learned how to implement that in a web page. In this video, I am going to show you how to interact with the open as well as the closed Shadow DOM using Selenium. So let's get started now. So here in our letcode.in slash shadow, uh, that page, we have this three um, elements. Okay. So if I go and inspect this, here you can see that it has the ID called fname. But we know that within the shadow root, we cannot use any of the locators properly. Like even if it's XPath or CSS or stat or the straight locator like ID class name, definitely we cannot use that within the shadow root. So the only way we can do or we can handle with Selenium is using the JavaScript executor. Let me give you an example. So here you can see that we have a like ID equal to fname, right? And this is within the shadow root and the mode is basically in open. So we have two modes, one is the open and another one is the closed. So this is open. So definitely we can interact with this particular element. Let me show you that. So first of all, we are going to find the host. So if you remember in our previous video, I talked about like what is the node, I mean what is host, what is tree, what is boundary and also what is the root, right? So this is my host. Uh, so, let, uh, um, so let me grab this first. So here I'm going to say document dot query selector. Okay. And then I'm going to give the ID here. And let's store that in a variable called element. I mean ELE. Okay. Now from the ELE, I can use the property called shadow root and then again, I can do the query selector and then I can target my locator that is F name here. Okay. Then if I want to send a value, I can use the value and I can give like whatever I want. Okay. So this is how we have to interact with the shadow DOM. I can, of course, I can take this and I can pass it in my execute script, but there's a shortcut. So here for the open shadow root, it is applicable. So I want to interact with this particular element. So I can just do right click. I can go to copy and I can click on this copy JS path. That is JavaScript path. Okay. Now if I go back to console and type, you can see that the same thing. First, we found the host that is this one. From the host, we have navigated to the shadow root that is this one. And from the shadow root, we have again query selector that uh, this ID. Okay. That's it. Very simple. So what can I do is I can simply copy this entire um, JS path. Then in my driver, I can find, I can pass that. Okay. And in the code, I have a very simple class called shadow. And then I have declared the Chrome driver and I'm creating the object here within the test. I'm using test ng and we have implicit wait of five seconds. And then we are just navigating to that particular uh, web page. Okay. And in the after method, I have a function called close where I'm just closing my um, browser. But after the test, it will wait for five seconds so that I can sh uh, show you the result. Okay. Now here I'm going to say driver dot execute script and then I'm going to pass the script here. Okay. I mean, uh, okay, let's do like this. Okay. I'm going to store it in a string. Okay. Now, of course, I have to use the backslash uh, uh, to handle this one, right? This double quotes. Instead of that, I will just use single quotes that will solve the job. Okay. Now, okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to return this. So, when we run in the console, you can see that like whenever we call, it's, it's giving us something. It's basically says undefined, but of course, it's giving us something. So, whatever it's going to give us, we are just going to return that. Okay. Now what we can do is we can use this here. Okay. So here I can say like str. Okay. And this is going to return me the type of object. So here you can see that it's going to return me the object, but of course I can do the typecasting. So here I can make this as a web element. I'll just name this like f name. Okay. First name. Okay. So drive dot execute. Script is going to return as object, but we want that to be web element. So we are doing the type casting. Now here using the object, I can say like using the reference, I can say like dot send keys and then I can pass my data. Okay. That's it. Very simple. Okay. This is applicable for the opened shadow root. Okay. Now let's run and check. So 
So the value is typed within the text box successfully. Okay, so very simple. Now after five seconds, it got closed as well. Okay, because we have the after method. Okay, this is fine. This is going to work for the opened shadow root. Okay, and there might be also possible nested of shadow root. That means one shadow root within another shadow root. Okay, that is also going to be very similar only. Already there is a video for that in our uh, Navin Automation Lab. I mean Navin Automation Lab channel. So you can refer that. I will just leave the link in the description or maybe I card in the I card. Okay. Now let's see how to handle the closed DOM. Okay. So if I go back to my application, then if I inspect this one, this uh, last name, you can see that it is basically within the closed shadow root. Okay. Now. I want to interact with this particular text box. So if I do right click and go to copy and click on this copy JS path, you can see that it is basically disabled. Okay, we cannot interact with this particular element. Okay, but if you watched the previous video, I said that we can do the interaction. Let me show you that. Okay, so here I have an ID called LNAME and the host is basically this one, my web content component. So I'm going to copy my host, then I'm going to say document dot query selector okay and i'm going to store that as a host and then i'm going to say host dot my root okay now instead of shadow root i am using my root so what is this my root so if you remember in my previous video also i have shown the same demo where whenever i'm trying to attach the closed mode shadow root i am going to store that in my root and based on the my root i am i am setting my actual elements right so to grab that element of course i can use the same object name here okay then i can again do the query selector and here i'm going to target my l name that is last name and then i can say like value oh, sorry not here after that dot value and equal to i can pass my name here right so that's it pretty much fine we are able to type within this particular box of course we can interact with the closed uh, shadow root as well. Okay, let me try to do the same in Selenium. Okay, but there is a problem in Selenium whenever there is a closed shadow shadow root, uh, we cannot directly interact directly in the sense we cannot directly store it as a web element and we can use the send keys. We can certainly we cannot uh, because most of the time we will get uh, exception like element not interactable. Okay. So instead of storing that as a web element, what we can do is we can directly use the dot value or for each and every web element methods. Of course, we have a alternate uh, JavaScript methods, right? So we can use that. Let me show you here. Okay. So what we are going to do is very simple. So string and I'm going to name it like element equal to the value. Okay. Not this one. So I'm going to copy this one first. And I'll just change the double quotes to single quotes. And then I'm going to say this one. Okay. And again, I'm going to change my double quotes to single quotes. Okay. And at the end, of course, the semicolon. Okay. So that's it. We have stored it in a string called element. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say driver dot execute script. And then I'm going to pass my element here. That is the string. Okay. That's it. Pretty much done. And we don't have to return it because we are not going to interact with that. What we are trying to do is we are trying to um, directly set the value. Okay. So let's go and try to execute this now. So Kaushik is also typed and then uh, Chatterjee also typed. Okay, so both the values have been typed successfully. So we are able to interact with the opened um, shadow root as well as the closed shadow root. Now, instead of uh, directly passing here, let's try to do in this way. Okay, we are just going to convert into a uh, web element and then we are going to use the send case function. It should work, but sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, but let me show you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this value here. Okay, and then I'm going to return it here. Okay, so return here. Then uh, what can I do? I can say like uh, 
element and then followed by here I have to do the type casting. So let's do that. So here we'll just name it like L name. That is fine. Okay. And then I'm going to say L name dot send keys and then probably we'll try to pass the value. Okay. Um, let's see whether it's going to work or not. So here we have written and we are trying to find the um, the same closed shadow root and then we are trying to uh, typecast as a web element and from the web element we are trying to use this end case function. Okay. Now let's go and run this again. Okay, so here you can see that the focus has been changed from the first name it, the focus has been changed to the last name but it didn't execute so if i show you the result you can see that it says like element not interactable so that is the problem with closed shadow root we cannot directly interact most of the time so it is better to use the direct javascript functions over here okay so that's it okay but as i said earlier Open handling open shadow root is really easy, even if it's nested, also we can do it easily. But closed one, uh, we cannot use directly. The reason is uh, here I have developed this page, so I know what is my object name, and I also know that I have attached to this particular object. Okay, but if you take any other application, probably you might not know that. Of course, if it's going to be your QA environment, of course, you can ask your developer they might suggest you what to do okay but uh, there is also another way to implement the shadow root in a closed mode that is without storing the uh, object okay for example this one enter your email it is basically our shadow root with a closed one okay uh, to, here what i did is uh, instead of storing it in uh, storing it in a object i just used direct method called closed here so for example here you can see that um this one attach shadow root shadow shadow and the mode is closed okay but here i never stored one i didn't use this um connected callback function to attach directly i have used the inner html using the angular okay so in that case i will not be able to uh handle this element let me show you that okay so here i have a id called closed shadow so if i go to my console and if i say like const e equal to document dot query selector okay and then if i say like e dot you can see that i am not able to get the shadow root it will be null and of course that uh, my root will not work because we didn't set that and other, apart from that of course i don't have any option to do that okay so if i try to do the query selector and if I try to interact with the input, then definitely it will be null. Okay, so it is not possible. Sometimes it is not possible. Sometimes it is possible. Okay, so if you need, if you know the element or the object where the DOM is attached, definitely we can interact. But if you don't know, then definitely we cannot interact. Okay, so it's again based on your application implementation. Talk to your developer. Ask to. Uh, make you understand like how the implementation is done based on the implementation you can automate your test cases okay so yeah that's it with that said i think i have give you a clear idea how to interact with open and closed uh, shadow root and also if you have further query like how to interact with nested shadow roots uh, you can watch the navin automation lab that was a really good video so i would recommend you to watch those okay so that's it from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. If you have any queries, please do let me know in the comments. Tata bye bye. Take care.